Asylums were never abolished, only rebranded as mass incarceration, as a homelessness epidemic, as skyrocketing medical bills. People think that you look at somebody and can see they've got a problem. People have mental illness and they look like normal people. People don't really know that living with pain is just unbearable. It's unbearable. It was very, very difficult because I had no idea what was happening to me. It's like I had no control whatsoever. It's taken me probably 35 years to get past that guilt. A lot of people say, oh, I'm going to go kill myself, and I realize like how offensive and how hurtful that could be. It has nothing to do with willpower. It has nothing to do with whether you're masculine or feminine. I, I can't afford to keep a car, so I can't get to a job, so I can't this and I can't that. Mental illness and poverty, those things kill you. Meds at one point were like 4,000 a month. Mental illness is real. Our suicide rates are higher than they've ever been. People who have mental illness die sooner. They are already the easiest to neglect. With that mentality, I think you also get this sort of a dumping ground that goes back for centuries. The biggest threat to public health and safety in some ways is mental health. 